Hello, it's Greg Flyshaker, Greg Fly to my friends, and today it is about 20 after 5. I'm getting ready for dinner, and I am out of salad dressing, so I'm going to make very quickly an apple cider vinegar and oil dressing. So the container I use right there has measurements up the side, and I'm going to make about 400 milliliters of salad dressing. So I, I poured the apple cider vinegar up to 100. This is avocado oil, and I'm going to pour that to a total of 250 milliliters. And then before I add my olive oil, I'm going to add a little bit of mustard and seasoning. So this is one teaspoon of fine sea salt, um, about a half a teaspoon of uh, black pepper, to your taste obviously, and then a little bit less than a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I will, well, I guess I'm grabbing the mustard right here, uh, just a squirt jar of, uh, this is stone ground Dijon. And that helps hold the dressing together. Plus it tastes good. It makes it look pretty, so it's a win-win. And then I'm gonna use an immersion blender for this part. Um, you might not wanna use an immersion blender for olive oil. If your immersion blender has a high speed, it's possible to break up the oil droplets in olive oil and it'll make it taste really metallic and you can kind of ruin your olive oil. So I, uh, avocado oil does not have that problem. So I use the immersion blender on this part and then I will pour the olive oil up to 400 milliliters and then I'll just hand whisk it in. And it does a pretty good job of staying together as a salad dressing uh, in the refrigerator for the few days or the week that it, it might last. Depends who's home, right? If my kids are home from college, this won't last too long. And it just happens that that container I put on the counter is 400 milliliters. That's why I use 400. I've measured this container. It just works well for us as a salad dressing. So it's one part apple cider vinegar, roughly three parts everything else, and that took all of five minutes.